Hi everyone, it's Jez here from Windows Central and we're back quickly with another video for the new Xbox dashboard which dropped unexpectedly for Xbox Alpha and Skip Ahead users, so stay tuned. Okay, so the biggest noteworthy change here is that the dashboard itself has been decluttered a bit. The tabular interface is gone. You can no longer, you know, move left and right between the different tabs for Game Pass, Mixer and Community and the store and so on. Instead, what Microsoft has done is put them down here as buttons. And, uh, you know, it actually feels a lot quicker as a result. I mean, did you see how quickly that loaded there? I mean, it's difficult because I don't have another Xbox to compare it to the uh, the current build that's available to the public. But, like, you know, we have a saying here on Windows Central that it seems faster. And, indeed, I have to say, this does seem faster. You know, and again, it's hard to... <laughs> it's hard to know for sure because I can't do a direct comparison, but for the most part, it's all identical. It's all exactly the same. It's just that the tabs at the top are gone, and now we have these buttons instead, which give you access to the store, which loads up really quickly and very impressive, and also Game Pass... Uh, which gives you access to all your Game Pass titles if you're a subscriber and also Mixer for streams and also the community tab for your community feed and so on. The uh, the rest of the dashboard is exactly the same as it was previously. You can still pin these tiles here which are you can pin like different games, different clubs and stuff like that. There's no big changes here to the games and apps library. It again, this seems to load up quicker as well. It's uh, it it just feels a lot smoother than it was previously. I mean, look at that like moving backwards and forwards between the different pages is it just feels a lot more reliable a lot more responsive and that sort of stuff so that's the main noteworthy change here is that this this top area has been altered decluttered and so on and stuff like that you can still set a custom background as you can see i've got like a forest photograph that i took in the background up there and you still get these like uh these ad tiles i guess uh, one of them's going to be always dedicated to Xbox Live Gold and stuff like that. One of them is always a sponsored post. We've got Apex Legends Hype Zone here. And I think like this um, this Discover tab, I don't know if these are algorithmic or if Microsoft programs them themselves. I'm not a Destiny 2 player at all, so I don't know why it's servicing that for me. Uh, maybe Destiny, you know, asked Microsoft to put it there. I, I have no clue. But, you know, it's... Uh, it's an interesting little area where Microsoft can surface content or the algorithm can surface content. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, I guess I'll ask Microsoft exactly how that discover button works in a future update. Okay, so the other major noteworthy change here can be found in the way Cortana is handled on Xbox. No longer will you be able to use a headset microphone or connect for accessing Cortana commands. You will have to use an external Amazon Echo speaker or an app on your phone or an app on your PC. Um, the reason they've done this is because nobody was using them. If Connect users are the 1% of Xbox users, then Connect Cortana users were the 1% of the 1%. By removing this, it, it frees them up for like more system resources for, you know, the dashboard and stuff like that but it is nice that they you know it still works via apps and stuff like that so let's give it a try here right now if i uh, try and load up cortana cortana tell xbox to go home and as you can see she's pulled it off right there Okay, but if you're not a Cortana user, you can use an Amazon Echo speaker with the connected Xbox skill. And they have been developing it very fast and it does work pretty damn well. Like, for example, I can say, Alexa, launch Monster Hunter World on Xbox. Monster Hunter World from Xbox. Alexa, tell Xbox to go home. Okay. And there you go. But yeah, those are the main noteworthy changes as part of this build. Feels a lot nicer, looks a lot less cluttered in my opinion, and it is a lot zippier and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the Xbox dashboard. I've been Jez Corden from Windows Central. You can follow me on Twitter at J-Z-C-O-R-D-E-N. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.